You know, I never started out as wanting to be a car hoarder, but frankly, that's exactly what it's come to. This past spring, I promised myself I was gonna unload some of those 12 cars that I've had. And I realized also that I don't do a very good job keeping you guys up to date and apprised of what's going on and what's been sold. And in this video, I'm gonna take care of both of those items, but I'm also gonna do something a little fun, a little different. I'm gonna give you a glimpse behind the curtain and show you the YouTube income that I've made on the videos of those cards that I've sold. And, you know, together we're gonna to find out what did I make, what did I lose, and was it worth it? But before we start, take a look at this back lot of the garage that I rent. My unit's right here. I still have room to pull out and maneuver and get out through the gates. This place was a dump hole in the spring. In fact, I filmed a Corvair video back here in the spring, and this place was a mess. Trash, debris, pallets all over the place. Tony runs a club right on side of me right here, and he wanted an outside wreck area for his club going members. And they have like seating area, they have a bar, they have some grills over here. Um, there are different games that he sets out up here as well. Vastly improved from what it was a few months ago. So since the spring, five cars have been sold. Uh, two I made money on, two I lost money on. I might be the only person in the history of the world right now losing money on cars. And one was an insurance payout because of a smash. Now, the first one we'll start with, it's the Lincoln Town Car, 1995 Town Car. I bought this car for $3,000 through Capital Auto Auction. It needed a bunch of work, little things. There was auction fees, tires, paintless dent removal, two window regulators. All total, I put in $1,241 in purchases and receipts for that car on top of the 3,000 purchase price, $4,241 all in. I sold that car. And look, I was vacillating back and forth whether I wanted to sell it. I mean, I loved that car. You guys loved that car too, clearly, because I made three videos, accumulated 269,000 views on three videos on that Lincoln, which blew me away. I was thrilled to see you guys enjoying it as much as I enjoyed it. My YouTube revenue on those three videos combined on 269,000 views, I made $1,567. What do you think of that? Is that good, bad, indifferent? I, I don't know. I, I'm i happy with it. I'm happy with anything, frankly. Uh, the YouTube stuff is just, uh, just like fun for me. And the income that I get from that is bonus money. It's not necessarily something I live on. This is all hobby for me. Uh, but between selling the car for $5,000, making fifteen sixty seven on ad revenue through YouTube, I ended up with a profit on that Lincoln of $2,326 blown away and I'm gonna say that has been my most favorite car to date yet and uh, I loved it I was sad to see it go I kept vacillating whether to sell it or not uh, finally after receiving a bunch of offers more than that five thousand dollars that I finally took at the end uh, I finally just let it go it ended up sitting in the garage for weeks out of time and it was just time to move it so it's nice to make a few bucks too as a change all right the second car a Caprice classic if you remember 1996 it was green, Caprice Classic. I paid $51.50 for that car through Capital Auto Auction. It was a charity donation car. Between fees, tires, window rollers, paintless dent removal, all the fluids and alignment, I put $1,210 into that car on top of the $51.50 that I paid for it. I made three videos also on that car, totaling 53,000 views amongst the three videos. I made $360. I sold that car for $4,750 for a loss of $1,240 for the Caprice Classic. You know, I didn't enjoy that car as much as I thought I would. It's always been a bucket list car for me. However, when you get to choose between a Lincoln Town Car and a Caprice Classic to drive, well, the Town Car wins every time. The Caprice ended up sitting in the garage. I drove it for maybe two months and it just sat for the rest of the time. Didn't enjoy it as much as I thought it would. Uh, but I'm glad the new guy sent me some photos of some things that he had done with it. Looks fantastic. I'm thrilled for him. I'm thrilled to move on from it. And uh, and the next car was a Taurus, a police interceptor. It was a 2017 Taurus that I bought at a state surplus auction here in Delaware. I paid $61.50 for that car. Had 88,000 miles on it when I bought it. Uh, I put 6,000 miles on it. Now, the miles that I actually put on it was like 100. I hardly drove it at all. Frankly, I didn't like it that much. Uh, I, it didn't feel comfortable to me. It didn't feel natural. It felt um, the seating position was weird. It just, you look at these little slivers through the window and that's that's your sight line. Uh, 
and I didn't need to do much with that car either. There was $18 in fees and buyer fees. And basically those buyer fees from the auction was a certified check and overnighting the check. Fluids cost $200. It was the power transfer unit and oil change. I ended up getting a center console from a junkyard Taurus, uh, a civilian model, putting that in, putting the blank, the shifter blank plate in, the, the power port section. It was $310 all in for that center console. So six thousand six hundred seventy eight dollars is what I have invested in that car I made one video I didn't really care about the car I really didn't uh, one video it was a pickup video from the auction got 25,000 views I made one hundred ninety nine dollars on that now that car if you go on any auction site or any sale site you'll see those cars like retail prices are in the ten to twelve thousand range it had ninety two or ninety three thousand miles on it I knew a water pump could be in the future for that car my my 19 year old my son's good friend he was looking for his first car he fell in love with that car it looked fantastic uh, but he desperately wanted it i didn't want him to get burned with a water pump issue uh, i ended up selling that car for eight thousand dollars eight thousand so he got a really nice discount and should a water pump problem crop up in the future he's plenty in the green and the upside on that car to pay for that what twenty five hundred dollar water pump repair if he needs to go have it done uh, and still be okay not be upside down on that car so i'm happy about that so sixty six seventy eight in the car 199 dollars in ad revenue eight thousand dollar sale price i made a profit one thousand five hundred and twenty two dollars on that tars all right two other cars oldsmobile cutlass 1998 it was a Supreme, it's the International Series, a car that I fell in love with back in high school. And this is one of those situations where, you know, once you meet your, your hero and your hero disappoints you, well, you know, it's kind of all downhill. That was this car. I mean, it was something I really wanted, always wanted, but after spending some time with it, I mean, it was okay and it was fun. Uh, it just didn't speak to me anymore. I bought that car for $1,200. It was a private sale between a new engine, AC parts, tires, shocks, and so forth. I put 5000 $55 into that car on top of the purchase price. I made two videos. Uh, it was like a walk around video that I made and then a zero to 60 all in 15,000 views. I made $129 on that car. I sold that thing for $5,000. I lost 1,121, 1121 on that car. You know, it's a lesson learned. And then finally, my son bought a Dodge Avenger. Actually, we bought it. We went to the surplus auction. He picked it out. He fell in love with it. We paid fifteen fifty for this Dodge Avenger. I think it was in 2009. Had 150 some thousand miles on it. He drove it for the next year and a half. And all we had to do with that thing, oil change. That's it. Eventually, we ended up putting brakes and tires on it. But I'm not going to count that because really that car needed nothing. We just drove it right off the lot and enjoyed it for the next year and a half before we started putting money into it. Um, so fees, 18 bucks, oil, 50 bucks, all in $1,618. I made one video. It was an introduction during COVID, an introduction to the car. I got 26,000 views. I made $141 in ad revenue. Uh, my son was sitting at a stop sign. Uh, some dude pulled around, smashed right into the front of his car. The dude who smashed into his car put it in reverse, backed up, took off. My son couldn't do anything about it simply because uh, the smash in the front was so hard, even though it doesn't look terrible, it was so hard it shifted the engine, uh, bent the front cross member, whatever, the front structure. Uh, oil was pouring out, transmission fluid was pumping out. Uh, the car was, was totaled at that point. Insurance came in and said the car was worth $3,758. I have a $500 deductible. They gave me, they gave me $3,258 on top of the $141 that I made in ad revenue. I made a profit on that car, like you would expect uh, in this current car market. I made $1,781. So here's the thing, I added up all the cost of the cars, uh, those five cars. I spent $25,115 on, on those five cars. You know, averaging, what, $5,000 a car. I sold those cars for $26,008. I made a profit just on the cars, $993. Hmm could do worse could be a lot better frankly i made 10 videos collectively making two thousand three hundred and ninety six dollars from youtube so the profit from the cars the income from the youtube revenue gave me three thousand three hundred and eighty nine dollars so what do you think of that is that a lot a little did you expect more or less do you have an impression that you know i like i'm a multimillionaire from youtube income and that's 
and that's simply tr not true. Clearly, you know that from, from reading these numbers to you. However, the income that I do receive, it's kind of like a bonus for, for enjoying my cars and it, it helps defer the losses too that I make when I buy these cars and keep them short term and I have fun with them and I move them out and I lose money. The YouTube income kind of helps offset some of that. That's that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.